Enjoy more in 2024. You got it. It's 10 o'clock. This is Sky News at 10, our top story. Is saying sorry enough? Exactly. Why haven't you met any sub-postmasters yet? Fujitsu admits it knew there were errors in the software and witness statements were edited, which helped in the prosecution of hundreds of post office convictions. Accusations the issue is still widespread in Scotland, with one sub-postmistress telling Sky News she's losing money now because of the faulty computer system. That's the reality of having a post office. That's the reality of it. Also tonight, detained and humiliated, a woman claims to Sky News that she was stripped and threatened by police officers in Manchester after making a complaint. I feel like they're going to be after me forever if I don't leave Manchester. I'm scared that the, what the police are going to do next. Anger and despair, but a community fighting back as Tata Steel confirms that nearly 3,000 jobs will be cut in Port Talbot. A family of four, including two young girls, are found dead in a house near Norwich. Actor Alec Baldwin is indicted on a charge of involuntary manslaughter over the shooting of a crew member on the film set, Rust. This is the Majumbi All systems are broke. And the race is on. Japan becomes the fifth country to land a spacecraft on the moon. But a glitch leaves the mission hanging in the balance. Plus, we'll take a first look at tomorrow's front pages in our press preview from 10.30 right through to midnight. Good evening. Fujitsu, the company behind the Horizon software in the post office scandal, has admitted that the company knew about errors as early as November 1999 and witness statements were changed. Hundreds of people have since been wrongly convicted. And today, Sky News has spoken to one sub postmistress in Scotland who's using an upgraded version of the computer system, which she says is still costing her thousands. We'll get more on that story in a moment. But first, Ivor Bennett reports from the inquiry.